Right, so abyss mode. Yeah, so right, storm mode. Um, merchant port, which is at a burn. So there's six story modes. Oh, that's cool. So that's nice. They added that. 25, is that seconds or minutes? I don't know. I'm never going to have top of anything just because. All right, here's Zetterburn's story. Zetterburn's Loyal Legion returned to the fire capital after vanquishing the era Armada, Armada ships that preyed upon Fire Empire's far flung trade routes. However, their triumphant return is met not by laurels and celebrations, but black banners and dirges. Dir dirges. Fire capital is deep in mourning. All right, so we got five fights with our last one being the rival, I guess. Maple. Bring it on, Maple. I wonder what uh, difficulty it is. I don't know, but let's do this. It's just me on, me on him. They're, you know, one on one. Cannot talk. Oh, that was almost a pretty good, pretty good thing I did. That was a pretty good thing you done did there. He has this like shield on me too. Wow, so it's just a, well, that was just one death. Okay, cool. So yes, yeah, so that leaderboard must have been 25 seconds to beat the whole thing. So they must beat these levels in like five seconds each. Ooh, so there's more little story too. Zetterburn discovers that his father, Emperor Renburn, has been assassinated with a famous dagger of an inconceivable suspect, Forceburn. Is that our uh, rival then at the end? Zetterburn's beloved brother. Oh, no, his brother. Meanwhile, Minister of Trade Loxodont is to be crowned the new emperor. The Fire Council conceives a distraught Zetterburn that this was his father's wish. Zetterburn and Loris lives in the fire, accept the council's will. He pledges his love to the Emperor Loxodont and vows revenge upon the traitorous force. Alright. On to Rastor. I'm liking the characters. That's cool. I definitely want to go uh, customize Zetterburn here. And we just almost won. That's a cool attack. His up attack is kind of like... Oh, what is that like? Whose is that? His up attack charges up and then... Oh, shoot. And then you can go at, a, at a, another angle if you want. Oh, shoot. You got some good moves there. Oh, that's a good attack there. Good uh, combo. Yeah, nice. Nice. I'm liking this. That night, nice Force Burn materialize materializes in Zetterburn's Imperial Chambers. Russell pleads with his brother's aid and accuses the council of murdering their father. Certain Forceburn's guilt, Zetterburn flies into a rage, attacking his once beloved brother. Forceburn barely manages to escape with his life. Oh no. <clears throat> that's why they're so alike. And that's why he's wearing the mask, I guess, because he beat up his face. Okay, so they're brothers. So they're, the characters are going to be kind of in a story together. That's cool. Oh, my damage stays from battle to battle. That's what makes it more difficult. Oh, I'm just seeing that now. Okay. See, now he's got both of his characters moving around. a little more difficult because now I'm in 96 and I still have two fights left okay cool cool coronation day 
day dawns, the citizen's president locks an island with a flame imperium, a sacred torch, granting the rule of fire. Zedburn watches, exhaust and doubtful. Suddenly, a water creature appears and steals the flame. It is the elusive Orcane. Orcane leaps with the flame into the mysterious purple puddle and is gone. Oh, so we gotta get to Orcane through Crag. I don't know all these characters' names. So these story modes are somewhat quick. Because you've got... Um, and I'm just realizing... Uh, just realizing now the, um, the dash is like a... Like a smash. Ooh. Oh, I've got lives. Okay, I see now. Well, that's helpful because that means in the final battle I'll have a couple lives left if I don't die again. Oh, okay, I didn't die. <laughs> I went not for it the last second. Oh, nice, silver. All right, so that first battle I did real well, and now I've gotten silvers all around. All right, so we're on. So yeah, these storm ones go real quick. Wow. Fire Council orders Zetterburn to retrieve the flame. Ever loyal, the G Fire General unleashes a maelstrom on Merchant Port to the home. Okay, so we just go in and destroy his home. Zetterburn rages through the unprepared city. So, we're technically, kind of probably killing a bunch of people. Uh, until he reaches the docks where he finds the purple arcane guarding the ceremonial, ceremonial torch. Alright, arcane. So it's cool that they each have their own story, but now if I play as Arcane, do I steal the torch and then have to fight him? I don't know, I guess we'll have to figure that out. Oh, oh. oh he can... Oh, well, he died. He just killed him. So he can uh, swim. That's kind of cool. But he's got two lives. Arcane has some uh, teleportation stuff. That's kind of tough. Yeah, he just dodges my. Oh no! Oh, you can dodge in the air. That's. I guess it's not a good time to figure things out right now. Getting my rival. I'm gonna use that as a. He uses that like now and that he laid that down. He can jump in that puddle at any time. Oh, nice. We got him on the... Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. That was cool. <clears throat> All right. We got... We got medals all around. A fiery tale. Completed this story, nice. Whoa, he's like melted. Suddenly, Arcane dissipates. The water creature was a mere shadow. He said with doubt, his instincts ablaze. Zetterburn's eyes fall on the purple glow and plums of smoke on the western horizon. Chapter cleared. Cool. New record. Right. Yes, this is on the Xbox One. How are you doing tonight, Twee? Um, we've got some more time. I can do another story mode, I guess. I wasn't. I thought it'd be a little bit longer than that. So let's do. Uh, let's do the other guy's uh, story then. Burns in. I'm not that good at it right now, and I'm just checking out the uh, the story modes, and then I'm going to be moving on. Actually, we're going to be playing another game tonight, so maybe once I get a little better, <laughs> or maybe after I'm done with this, if I have some more time. Um, so how did the stories intertwine? I wonder. Oh, whoa. Oh, so it is. They do intertwine, I guess. So Forrestburn returns home 
diplomatic mission to find his father, Emperor Redburn Slain. An F identical to Force Burns Dagger is buried deep in the Emperor's chest. Emperor Redburn's loyal spy. Intelligence on Force Burn has long distrust distrust. His father's a fire council. Now all too late, he discovers the treacherous gold. Force Burn flees the scene and seeks refuge in the maze, so they're working that in, I guess. That's interesting. So the the rival will be his brother at the end, I guess. And we fight our king in the beginning. All right. All right. Well, I don't remember Force Burn's move, so this is going to be a little bit of a learning, a little bit of a learning uh, moment here. He's got like a, a whip. He's got the up thing going on. Special buzz. Oh, so now they uh, they move around. Okay. Special, I gotta remember that. Oh, and he does the uh, the vanquish. His up attack, or his up. Uh... Why is it he... His up special or whatever. Wow, really? I definitely like the other guy better right now. So he doesn't launch him really. What's up, G Shot? So yeah, he doesn't really launch him at all. There he goes. Strong attack to launch him, I guess. Eat. Cool. Suspected of murder, Forceman takes seeks to warn his beloved royal brother and prevent the fire council from seizing the imperial throne. But when Zedburn returns Turn to the fire council. He doubts for Forceburn's conspiracy theories. His brother fights and Forceburn flees, wounded and betrayed. So they, it seems like they kind of overlap, maybe, but Zetterberg convinced that his brother is guilty of patricide is devastated. He tells no one of their clandestine altercation and he escapes. And now we're fighting what, Crag or whatever his name is. Yeah. <clears throat> So his strong attack to the side really isn't... I don't know, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to this character. I'm already at 76% in the second fight already. So yeah, why doesn't his strong attack launch? You gotta be doing something that but he doesn't have it down though. So just wanted to say hi, storms are coming in the area. Alright, cool man. Thanks for stopping in. No hockey tonight. Yeah, I'm not as good with this character. I'm not I don't know how to launch as well as I was before the side launch or side attack doesn't Launch it just hits them That's weird It was okay, there we go the up strong attack Whips and then he uses his sword Ooh, bronze um, so yeah, I'm still not getting that. First one flees in the far outskirts of the far emperor one night seeking refuge at the border of the wastelands. He awakens to find himself surrounded by strangers. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I hit the microphone. They emerge from the ring of smoke, identify themselves as sentries from the smoke clan. They seize the wandering fire citizens to bring them settlement. Okay, cool. And there goes my internet. We got Rastor. So I wonder if I oh man I'm gonna break. Oh okay, so it's like a it's like a one two punch. So like he does he whips his coat out. Yeah. He whips his coat out 
or his cape and then his sword. So that's where the launch comes in play. Like a whip and then hit. Okay, so it's a it's a it's like a combo thing going on. There it is. Okay, I'm getting it. I understand now. Clay Yen, chief of Smoke Clan, learns of Frostborn's plight and his skill in espionage. She offers him a home and can smoke Unclave in exchange for his allegiance. Frostborn vows his loyalty. That's why we have the the uh, bone on us there. Uh, he renounces his false light of the fire and vows to learn of the truthful deceptions of smoke. He's given, that's why I have smoke too. He's given a great cloak of secrecy and a new identity. Well, technically, I've had that all along, so... All right, we got maple. Sounds good. I hear the game volume laugh live. I'm hearing it after the fact in my ear. So his. Oh, God, he just smacked me. Come on. Get out of here. It's that right there that I want. Yeah, that sword attack. Nice. All right, well, not bad. I got to the end of the storyline so far. Before long, Forceborn hears news of the fire capital. Zettelburn has disappeared. Despite his loyalty to the Smoke Clan, Forceburn decided he must find his brother. Donning the battle mask from the Smoke Clan, Forceburn uses the smoke portal to return to the fire capital where he arrives. However, he's greeted by a familiar figure. It is Zettelburn. Purple Zetterburn. That's pretty cool. That's oh, that's actually a neat fire uh, effect. The main being purple, and then uh, having purple and orange on them. That'd be kind of a cool mix. Maybe a purple, white, and black mixture. The fires from my high school. And oddly enough, we were the lions. Ooh, okay. Oh shoot, he has two lives as well. Because it's oh that's right, it's the uh boss. Get out of here. He's dead. Oh really? I'm trying to get him out of here. Get out of here. All right, good. Now we're on a pretty much even playing field. Next one to die loses. Bad thing to do right there. I'm like stunned. I don't remember which one I am. Come on. I'm back because Steel says hi, but I'm shutting down my electronics with the storm. All right, cool, man. Steel says hi. All right. Is he, uh, is he streaming right now? Oh, 103. Come on, get out of here. I don't want to lose. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, continue. Yeah, nice. Keep on gaming, G-Shot. Oh, it adds a total time of a minute. I don't care about time. I just want to finish the story mode. Keep on gaming, G Shot, man. We'll see ya. Next stream is on Friday. No stream tomorrow night. Friday night, Borderlands. Oh, and I'm back with my full lives and everything. I mean, that's nice that they let you continue. It just adds a minute to your time. So, probably streaming with his kids. Cool. I 
still like Zetterburn so far out of the two that I've played. Turn. See you Friday. All right, man. There goes my internet now. I like how he's got the like the whip at first. But then I don't like how he has like a double a double attack. This game right now is uh, like throw like grabbing. I don't think there was a there's not a button for grab the character. But yeah, we got this. Goodbye. Nice. So it is nice that they give you continues. If you can finish the uh, stories, I should get an achievement, right? Finishing a story. Sorcerer uses his powers of smoke to defeat his brother. Zetterburn vanishes. There it is. Smoldering plot. What is my little one doing? Fire capital pulses in purple shadow. Then Forrest receives a blaze in the distance. The fire army has attacked the smoke hideout while all, while he skirmished in fire capital. While he skirmished in the fire capital. Forrest one races back to his new home without finding the real brother or confronting the false emperor. So so all of them are kind of converging together. I'm guessing once you complete all the main stories, then like the main main story happens and you fight characters that aren't in it, maybe? I don't know. Um, we've got maybe time to do one more, uh, one more storyline. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I kind of liked Let's do Blazing Hideout. Maple. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Lunar, for the host. You are awesome for sharing our grog. How are you doing? Maple, self-appointed guardian of the Ethereum Forest and daughter of the treetops, protects the treetops Treetops lodges in the floor below with her companion plant, Lily. Aw, my daughter's name. High in the canopy, the treetop dwellers look down on the loyal, lowly, lowly denizens of the forest floor. Why is the floor cap one? Uh, but Maple knows the forest is one. They will thrive or perish together. <clears throat> now Maple feels a disturbance of the force. <sighs> Through the roots of the forest, there's a sickness under the ground. All right, ready to fight. Who we got first? We got Skyman, Rastor. Our rival is going to be the guy we just played as. All right, I got to remember the moves. Been better? Well, that's not good, man. You're here now, so you're better. All right, I got to remember all of these attacks. So his special side attacks don't do very much damage, but that's a fabulous way to rack up percentages. Holy crap. Wow, yeah, that's kind of a cheap move. I just gotta keep doing that. And then smack a special attack on him. Watch him out of here. Holy cow. That was easy. So far, we've only gotten gold on that very first fight. Maple and Lily soon discover. Oh, that's what the. F Lily is the flower that shows up every once in a while. It must be a move. Soon discovered that the forest is infested with a mysterious purple shadow. Wherever the shadow touches, the plant's twisted and ugly. All right, we got Zetterburn here in our storyline. Well, technically, we have all the characters in our storyline because there's only six of us. So we are fighting every single one of them. Oh, wow. He just kicked my butt. 
Oh no. Yeah, it's pretty much a smash, uh, smash clone. You're done by. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, actually. I'm, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Don't die. That uh, kicking my butt right now. Still has a ton of fun, though. Get out of here, Zetterburn. Say the odd. Give me that money. Oh, here we go. Source of the sickness seems to lie beyond the rock wall. Maple realizes she must go. She leaves Lily in the care of her younger sister, Mary. Maple gives Mary a letter that details all of her discoveries about the purple rot in its source. So this purple source is... Yeah, I'm taking over and making people not who they seem to be. Maple tells her sister to show the letter with any four strollers and read it. Mary worries that Maple is too reckless and begs her to stay, but both sisters feel the danger lurking beneath their roots. Indeed, all of the Aether could be in peril. Alright, moving on to... Crag. Almost a Shrek. Excuse me. See, when I do that move, it keeps the uh, keeps those things spinning around the characters. It's, I kind of like uh, I kind of like maple. I like using the plants and whips and stuff. It's kind of the up special is nice. <laughs> Get out of here, yeah. Nice. <clears throat> it's time for your race sub, really? Maple crosses the continent, scouting and searching, following the sickness within the earth. With each day away of the forest, she feels herself growing weaker. Oh no. Moons into her journey, she comes upon an enclave under siege where she creeps closer to investigate. She discovers the fire guard attacking the smoke plant. Alright, so that's all kind of crossing. Now we get to fight Orca or Orcane. I don't like Orcane. Get the whole teleporting thing going on. Oh, okay, so the the down special brings out Lily. That's helpful. Alright, Lily, help me out. Arcane's kind of annoying because she disappears. What if I have unlimited continues once I get to the or any time during the fights? Maybe you only get one continue per storyline. I don't know. All right, we move on to Frostburn or to uh, yeah, Forceburn. Suddenly, Forceburn appears in the whirlwind of smoke. Seeing his adopted home under attack, he mistakes his Maple for one of the assailants. In the same moment, Maple witnesses Forceburn's smoky sorcery and presumes him to be the League, be in League, but the twisting shadow infected the forest. They both leap into action. Oh, did it play? Sorry, did I miss that? Shoot, I didn't see that. Yeah, did it not play? Hold on, let me, uh... Let me bring this up. My, oh, my internet's all messed up. Wait for my internet to... Fix. But yeah, did the alert play and I miss it? Holy cow, what the heck? Lunar! It's not playing the alert. But what the heck? Oh wait, there it is. There's no music though. Let me try again. 
it's just not it's not connecting with uh the stuff that's really weird why isn't it working if the host worked when you did that see that worked well, let's try the the sub but dude tier three are you kidding me Well, there's the emo, the tier three emo. <laughs> but yeah, for some reason that alert's not playing. But dude, thank you. Holy crap, are you kidding me? But I think it popped up momentarily. It said first mate. That's my my tier three name is first first mate. But thank you, man. Holy crap, dude. You are too awesome. You are too freaking awesome. We were actually talking about you last night. G-Shot and I were here playing, and he asked, and I hadn't heard from you in a couple days. We were thinking about you. All right, Lily, help me out. <laughs> Just mine. Like I said, there's no need for mods here because we don't have any people needing modding. We don't have a need for them. If I have people coming in here being rowdy. Come on. I only have one life. I don't want to... Come on. Put Lily down. Do that. Get out of here. Get out. That's a fake one. Get out. Yes. We done it. <laughs> I like all those asterisks. Very cool. Are we? Yeah, we make. Can we get another one in real quick? Another storyline. Kind of want to do all the storylines tonight. Actually, we only have two more. We can play a little bit more than an hour. Able demands to know the role of Force Burn plays in the shadowy sickness. Taking back, Force Burn explains his own encounter. So that was the real one. Encounter with the mysterious purple shadow and disappears for his and the disappearance of his brother. Maple and Force Burn conclude that the danger lies to the west. They sent off together to find the source of the strange. Nice. Okay. Cool. So. All right. Or do we have three? Oh, we have three left. Uh. I can do... Uh, maybe I'll just do one more. We'll do uh, Rastor. I don't have confidence in my Orcane abilities. Crag maybe, but we'll try uh, We'll try Rastor here. We'll do one more storyline. I definitely want to come back and maybe finish those other two up then. Um, we'll have to do. Do you know why I did that? What? The tier three? Is that what you're talking about? I, I don't know why you did it. Because you're awesome. <laughs> Rastor and Bradshaw are top wingmen in the air armada. An elite aerial mi military that ranges above the whole Aetherian continent. The armada pillages merchant transports and harnesses under unguarded fire empire outposts. Rastor alone among the Amada Flyers is known to break rank for personal glory. Rastor is a brilliant but unpredictable flyer. Bradshaw is cautious but steady. They have been friends and unlikely partners since their days in the air canal. Surgery is Friday? Oh, really? This Friday? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I told you to remind me about that when you got closer. Frostworms. For I keep saying Frostworm Force. But it's just Friday. Okay, man. Well, I'll definitely be thinking about you. Alright, I gotta remember all of these moves. Oh, he, he's got triple attack. Or triple jumps. 
his up B attack is kind of annoying. His side attacks don't have any wind up, they just attack. Yeah, that one, yeah, you. Let me know as soon as you can uh, when you get out of the surgery. Nice gold! Yeah, let me know when you're out of that, man. While soaring above the Ethereum Force, a routine scouting mission restores spots a destroyed section of the rock wall. Oh, wait, this is in the Maples area. Restore sweeps to investigate what Bradshaw follows. Pure wet in the air. Showing off each other, they fly fast and reckless. So I don't know why we fought Forceburn first. He didn't have any part of the story yet, just to get him out of the way. Well, because we... So if I do too many strong attacks, I have a brief moment where I can't. Oh shoot. I'm staying down low here. <laughs> so jumping in the air, oh. Jumping in the air doing my special attack does that. Clap. Oh no, I'm dead. Anyways, I'm going to bed, but we'll message you Saturday to tell you how it goes. To run Friday stream, what's going on? Yeah, oh, I will, man, for sure. Yeah, let me know when you're out. And thank you so much for stopping by, man, and thank you for... Ah, oh, crap. Thank you so much for the sub as well, man. You are too awesome, as I always say. I didn't think anyone would be crazy enough to do a, a tier 3 sub. That's just nuts. I sincerely appreciate that. There he goes. Get out of here. Alright, I'm down to one life, but oh well. We'll move on. Maybe I will do all of the story mode, and then we'll only play a little bit of uh, Earth Defense Force. Now, we'll see. Good night to you, Lunar, as well. Meanwhile, on the wall below, Craig, a wall builder, just has returned from confrontation of the forest forest floor. He anxiously repairs the wall, impatiently calling up the stone. Oh, he's got the stone going. <laughs> Crazy for orange. When Craig sees a restaurant and Bradshaw diving toward the wall, he braces for attack. Assuming the armada is taking advantage of the weakness in the wall, Craig pulls a rock and hurls upwards, smashing Bradshaw out of the sky. Alright. And then all of a sudden now we're fighting Zetterburn, even though we're not. Oh, so Craig is our rival. So we're fighting Zetterburn for some. So his story really hasn't included a lot of the. A lot of the characters, like some of the other ones have been. Kind of... Oh, that's right, he's got that side special attack that I... Oh, nice. That was sweet. 